He's going out. Oh my god, he juked me. Or Olimar. <laughs> he was holding. He was, no, no, that's not. He was holding. Yeah, he was holding Rosalina, and then he went Olimar. He, he, he was. It was to make me look like a fool. Uh, oh, there's anyway, red Pikmin. This, goodbye. I, I, I agree with this mm -hmm. in terms of the matchup. Uh, Olimar is a smaller character, and Palutena kind of in general struggles a little bit if the character is shorter because she has to be more predictable with her aerial timings uh, at its baseline. And then, mm -hmm. the, the, although. You know, I was talking about how, oh, I almost never see the buzz get ledge trapped. Well, never say never. <laughs> Look at her. Yeah, because Jen's super good. Because especially because of Palutena's nares, it goes all around. It's not like it just stays in one area. No, it goes circular around her multiple times. Ooh. It's a multiple hit thing. Ooh, and, and the buzz easily getting off ledge. And doing that, what we were just saying, someone is going to be able to do this ledge trapping, and they switched it around. Now is the buzz ledge trapping Jen and taking that first off within the... Oh, my God, within the first minute of the game. Oh my God. And, you know, something also worth noting is the fact that it doesn't feel like Palutena has, like, a quick aerial she can use to get the Pikmin off of her. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it's, like, up air, which has this it's super long-lasting. Same thing with neutral air. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, right. uh, and it felt like that was kind of why he lost his stock at the uh, right back there. As it stands, though, now DeBuzz has this lead, and DeBuzz with a lead with two purple. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, right here, the buzz using those Pikmin to his advantage, trying to keep both uh, some damage on Jen and also keep him at bay, keep him away from uh, from the buzz as he also tries back up more purple uh, Pikmin. Yeah. Oh, uh, there they go. Goodbye. No, he still has two. No, he's three. Went, oh my god. Oh, that's. Uh, the, the Triforce has been assembled. All three pieces of Exodia. <laughs> but they're but they're all power, not <laughs> Exodia. <laughs> Already, Jen's second. Oh no, it wasn't Jen. Oh, okay. So I, 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 I thought it was, I thought it was Jen, because <laughs> Jen blends into like, Palutena blends into the background. So I was like, oh yeah, that's definitely Alf on the on the stage. I, I, I thought he was dead just because he was three purples. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Jen doing a great job trying to balance himself away from these yeah. uh, using that nair to get these off of him. But he can't though. As soon as he used the nair to get the white off of him, then the red got latched onto mm -hmm. him on the end lag of it. Oh, that was really smart, though. He went for the neutral and then fast fell it to make sure he get back down to the ground. So mm -hmm. there are ways for uh, Jen to counterplay here, but it's really tricky. Uh, one purple. A white and a blue. Okay. Now, I'm not completely sure exactly what the other colors do besides purple. I know purple and red, but what does blue um, and white do? So blue is the kill throw pick. Mm -hmm. At higher percents, up throw from a, per from a blue is like shockingly good kill throw. Mm -hmm. uh, and the white, it is very low health, but if it does get latched onto the opponent, it does like 40% if you don't get it off of you. I see, okay. So, especially because Jen has like no real easy way to get Pikmin off of him, white is kind of scary because as soon as it gets latched on, he needs to do something. Otherwise, he takes like 40%. That's actually devastating. And that's why it's so imper imperative to make sure that you get these Pikmin off of you as soon as you can. But also, again, the Buzz plays this game where he plays characters like Rosalina and Olimar who have a, a, a backup. Rosalina with Luma and Olimar with his Pikmin able to use it to his advantage. But this time, so Jen is able to get that oh. second stuff off him. But at 192, what can he do to make sure he stays as the lead? That interact was actually incredible because the buzz throughout the white Pikmin and Jen was like, I'm already at such a high percent. I don't care about getting this thing off of me. No, I'm going to look for the kill while you're off stage. And because it was the white and not the purple, he actually closed the distance and managed to get the mm -hmm. kill. Right now, we actually have one stock apiece for both players. This has been a surprising back and forth. Nobody's really been able to really run away with this game just yet. I agree. And you see how both players are kind of now stop. <laughs> at the beginning of the game, they were, they were both playing on on the ledge, playing this, like this, I think that this uh, control and dominating submissive game. But now they're both in the center stage. Uh, the buzz throwing the Pikmin and uh, Jen trying to keep them off of him. However, Jen going into these combos, oh, but would not be able to start anything with that down throw. Oh, great punish from the buzz into uh, <laughs> punishing uh, Jen for that parry. Things looking really dicey right now for everyone on screen. Everyone, even the Pikmin, they're, even they're the also Pik scared. Oh, yeah, the Pikmin Everyone's honestly... in danger here. Oh no, two purple online. Because a third, and it, it, that's, that's a the buzz. Oh, but he that jumped. up there is gonna be it for the buzz. I, I think I think he jumped right into it. He I did. thought I saw it. That's what a read from Jen actually taking game one. What are, he's pointing something out to him. Is everything okay? Is he showing him the results yeah, screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, we can actually get a, uh, we are hearing, all right.
Okay, so I think we maybe maybe there's some issue going on. Mm, we possibly. Will get right back to once we know what that might be. But in the meantime, really great stuff <laughs> from Jen. Being able to like wrestle control of that game. Mm hmm They're trying to figure out right now what's going on. Posse with the buzzer screen. Um, hopefully it gets sorted out really quickly so you guys see some more ma great matches for DeBuzz and Jen. But at the moment, there were, oh, we have no t we have no Devin. <gasps> we can oh. say anything we want. Guys, Poo -poo. He can't no, censor us. He can't censor us. <laughs> All right, so while Devin's gone, do the match Torino. But before you do oh, that, yes. actually, while you do that, because you're funny, let's remind everyone that, oh, are they starting? No, that they're fixing no, things, not. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think this Let's is remind everybody about. where we are. We are, of course, with the oh. House of 3000, the production of Xeno Weekly 226. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, please, and uh, YouTube, where all of us are uploaded immediately. And, yeah. and of, of course, you know, mm -hmm. there's the... If you want to check out the events every week, this is what you're seeing here. If you don't know the address, it is 21 Ludlow Street in New York, New York, the Big Apple, baby. So uh, if you've never made it to a Xeno before, especially if you're like in the tri-state area and you love tuning in because you love seeing the top talent, but you're like, but I'm not ready yet. You're never going to be ready. You just mm -hmm. got to come and show come. up. Yep. But, uh, oh, and speaking of uh, if you do want to come through, but maybe weekend weekdays are a little bit tricky for you, we do have, it's going to be the Saturday after this one, December 11th is the next Xeno Saga. And if you want to go nearby to us, we do have Waypoint Warriors right above, uh, right, like two blocks away. They also have Smash Brothers Ultimate Tournaments every Tuesday. Bracket starts at 5 o'clock, but sometimes they're cool and they start at like 6.30 if you're kind of late. So that's right nearby us, and we might be coming right back. Is ha hopefully everything's been sorted out. We can start not okay. yet, not quite yet, which means that you guys get more time to do the Macharino. Yes, do you the Macharino. This is the uh, buzz is giving you all the time in the world so that you can do the Macharino. All you gotta do is type exclamation point Macharino in the chat and follow the instructions like a good little boy. Please, and there's also a way to actually. I believe the total was about two dollars and. 35 cents. It's if you also, now. Some people have been doing the match arena, no, which no. thank you guys. Oh. There's a way to get more money for free by doing the... Um, the sponsor quest. Yes, the sponsor quest. Those are all free. They require like like like, like, like uh, doing follow XYZ on Twitter, follow XYZ on Facebook, XYZ, and you get even more money to the pot for free. So yeah. make sure you go and do that as well. Now, of course, we also have Collision 2022 oh. hosting <laughs> over in New Jersey in, on March 12th to 13th, of course, next year. Like, hello? It's not that much of next year. It's like three months. I know. Oh my, literally, literally, it's like three months. Oh my so God. close by. Whew. So right now, There's, oh, the, I love the fact that there are so many majors mm -hmm. now happening in the New York region. It felt like back in the day, back in my day, ha -ha, was, old. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> so old. I'm basically bones, uh, but <laughs> I'm just bones. But anyway, it's so it's such a great pleasure to have all these high quality major tournaments brought to you by the same people who do such fantastic work in the local scene. So if you haven't already, you know, blocked out that weekend to at the very least tune in to what is going to be a fantastic uh, tournament, please, please do. Register now because passes are already 50% gone. So go to smashgg slash collision, collision. And you sign up like now. It's gonna be big. You have MK Leo, Tweak, the Buzz, the Buzz, Spargo, <laughs> Mars. Like all these amazing players are gonna be there. And it's only 15 minutes away from New York City and 10 minutes away from all these other things like the, bar, the mall and all this other stuff. But either way, sign up now. Yeah, and also speaking of the Collision series, there's also the every Thursday at DNA. It's organized by them, and it's one of the premier New Jersey locals. So much great talent from the New Jersey region is there. So if you're a New York player and you know you're kind of sick of fighting Rob every week, oh my God, uh, go to New Jersey and lose to Wolf. So you know. <laughs> instead of fighting Falco, you can lose to Wolf. Come on now. No, but Learn seriously, that the, the New Jersey guys are great, and also some of the really excellent talent there. Uh, so seriously, if you've never done it, check them out. Uh, are we going to be getting back into things, or is there still stuff being sorted okay. out? Okay, hi guys. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll just start about it. The buzz seems to notice something on the picture that I can't really see. Not really sure, but 
we're just going to go ahead with it. He says there's something. I, I couldn't see it. Jen said that he couldn't see it. I'm not really sure, but we're getting into it anyway. All right. Well, hopefully, whatever it is, it won't really affect him in this next game because he needs to pull out all the stops. It's already shown that Jen is a, you know, he's, he's able to do what he needs to do to win those games. Mm hmm. Of course. And right now, both players decide, oh, the count kind of pick for this choice was FD. I think a pretty good stage for Olimar in general just because the Pikmin are able to latch on so easily because it's a flat surface. However, Debuzz is just out here being posse ledge guard by Jen. Oh, oh my god, what? Oh. Okay, okay, she still had her recovery, like the length of it, of course. Yeah, if that was me, that, if that two frame had come maybe 20% later, that could have been mm -hmm. really dicey for Jen. In the meantime, the 130% pretty much on Debuzz. That oh. explosive flame. I was just about to say, great job avoiding the first explosive flame, but then the second one came out and just absolutely obliterated his first stock. Oh man, this is looking really dicey for the buzz. Granted, we already said, I think earlier on, it was really like Jen was the one playing from behind, and you know, he managed to make the comeback, so it's definitely possible. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of whether the buzz can find the exact openings he needs to to take a stock as soon as he can because if Jen does manage to get a lot of damage in here, he can play to a lead and absolutely run away with it. Agree, but right now he's, he's just not. Jen is not letting the buzz do what the buzz is known to do: get those picks on on Jen and rack up a bunch of damage. Because Jen is able to just nair and get them off of him so quickly that they barely even do anything. However, the buzz is able to use a distraction and. I think it was a fair or, or, or an air. That was, into, I it was actually it was a fair. Oh, it it doesn't matter though. But the thing is that that still was actually because Jen went for the neutral to get yeah. the Pikmin off of him. It wasn't like a, you just put that extra pressure on him and then he panic jumped after, you know, the buzz started closing mm -hmm. in. So any time that the Pikmin wind up on him, it's at, not only is it percentage, but the fact that it demands an answer, the buzz is so good at then catching you and following up based on that. So it's a complete distraction, and that's what the buzz, of course, works with. But oh my gosh, that up, that's not going to do anything. I, I the, felt like, the, was that up smash? Oh my god, that killed. It was just Ooh. slightly off, I think. I, it's that maybe because of the Pikmin position? I don't know if the Pikmin position resets whenever he mm. goes for the up smash. I feel like normally it's more in front of him. Oh, does he have, did he have fire and poison on him at the same time? <laughs> oh, that's so devastating, having so much damage on him. Look at that, 92%. I don't know. I felt like just a moment ago, Jen was sitting at like 30. But well, that, now that's he's... the problem with the Pikmin. You gotta get them off as fast as you can. Oh. All right, and only one lone purple is in Buzz's possession right now, but it might be that that's the only one he needs. Oh. Oh, now we have Fire and Thunder coming out right now. Oh, and the Buzz able to get this game back to a 1 1 game. I'm not even gonna say he's in a disadvantage, because really. Really, is he though? <laughs> I don't know, but look at the Pikmin cycling, the control, the fact that he has such a clear game plan in mind, and he is setting himself up exactly for it. Look at all that damage. We now have a completely even game between these two. Oh, uh, there's a flame. Down, down, <gasps> down to, yep. That super armor on the whistle is so important. Again, the super armor pays He's dividends. definitely using it as much as he could to make sure his stun does not go away right now. Oh, oh but that yeah. explosive flame is going to be it. And he jumped into it at the very end right there, I think. But that's going to be Jen taking it 2-0 over to Buzz, guaranteeing himself a spot in the winner's finals. Is now to Buzz going to have to climb through a... Uh, Pretty scary losers bracket. Uh, and losers, we have we have like. Did he wait? Can we get a bit of a um? Yeah, of course. A replay on that. Did he jump into it or did it just connect on him? He jumped. Oh no to no! Avoid. It was just. Wait. Oh, he tried did to he recover. Jump? No. That was Uppy. Uppy. Oh yeah yeah. Hello. <laughs> this pick up like that. All but right. Yeah. So that, that's going to be Jen moving on on the winners bracket. Uh, good stuff to him as we now move to the other side of winner semis. It's going to be Vivi versus Tilde. I 